Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> We're so thankful you're here. Um, I am glad to be with you this morning, and I, I think today our prayer time is going to be really important. Uh, and it's going to be really important because we have people to pray for that have asked us to pray and we want to fulfill that and we want to pray for people that have put their confidence in us to, to, to set them before the throne of God and we want to yep. fulfill that. We also um, want to pray for this chapter. This chapter is of 24 has, we talked yesterday and we're not going to go back well, into all that Well, for two days stuff. we talked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. But yesterday we talked about all the, you know, the four different views, premillennial, postmillennial. We're not going to go into all that. Uh, and, but there are some very basic messages that you want to get from the 24th chapter of Matthew. And so um, we want to talk about what those basic messages are today and just make sure that it's, it's plain. Because if you, go, if you are like anybody that wants to study, you're going to go and you're going to listen to people, you're going to listen to other people, and they're going to have different views. There's a lot of views about what these things mean really the main view that we all need to have is just be ready Christ yeah. is coming <laughs> you know it, it 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 i used to tell people i'm a pantheist and and that's not really good because because pantheism is not good <laughs> but but i in this i'm a i'm a i'm a um, i am a pan millennialist pan millennialist yeah that's really the better word isn't it because I think, you know, it's going to all work out in the end. And yeah, you, you, you know, know, Sharon said it yesterday, yeah. just be ready. It, that right. is the message. Yeah. We don't, there's so many people's opinions and good, good and bad people we respect on both sides. Right, right, right. That we, um, we're not experts. We're, we can't be dogmatic. Right. So we're just, yeah. uh, yes. we're just, Please yeah. don't be dogmatic. That's the thing that gets us in trouble is that. Is when we stand and say, this is what it is. And, and we, and you don't know. You really no, don't nobody know. Nobody knows. You don't know, and and this this is one of the scriptures that I think God lets us be somewhat mysterious about, because He says there's nobody knows the time or day, and so He wants to make sure that we are not out there screaming times and days, right? <laughs> you know, so I think you're supposed to be a little bit, you know, confused, not confused, but just not know. There's not going to mm -hmm. be a clear answer to some of these kinds of things when right. it comes to the end times and every everybody <laughs> wants the end time thing every you know that's a big deal yeah so. it's very too and especially now but it's yeah yeah it doesn't affect your salvation he's, yeah he's coming back what yeah. else do you need yeah, to know yeah just get ready <laughs> yeah. they're the one you know they asked him when yeah and, uh, and, and then, this has been taken apart so many times it was you, so much stuff in yeah. 2000 years people have attacked this chapter yeah. You know, you said ad nauseum. That's true. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. You know, for me. Yeah. Yeah. No. And and Billy, Billy and I have have gone back after we started this chapter, even again, gone back and, and read stuff to make sure we were. Yeah. Not and I have taught this, yeah. and I realized, oh, I, you know, I didn't really. It's yeah. it's. Um, yeah. yeah. There's just a lot of views, and and if you've been taught in one way, that's fine. Believe it. I don't care. Right. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, but but. You just need to know that it may or may not be correct. The only Jesus thing is that's coming correct. back. Yeah, that's the only that's thing a that's fact. correct. Everybody that's agrees he's coming else. back. Yeah. Everyone agrees that if you believe <laughs> get in ready. him, get ready. Get ready for him to come back. And if you know the Lord today, yeah. when he comes back, whenever he comes back, you're going to heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What else do you need to know? Yeah, amen. Amen. You're the one that's going to know. Well, we're the ones who say it's 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 this stupid hermeneutics, hermeneutics, whatever. Hermeneutics, yeah. The hermeneutics or hermeneutic, which, which is that's a fine. Guy, that's I mean, a we need awesome. people. Okay, <laughs> how about Herman Munster? Yeah, yeah. you know, it's fine. Uh, I respect people who do this. I respect seminaries and all that kind of stuff. Should be, people should look deep in? I don't know the Greek that well or at all. So. Um, and, well, and 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 I agree that we should uh, when we get to the verse we say well it could be this could be that but it's not it's not really important with your salvation it's uh, yeah it does it you know who cares if you're pre post mid or trib or whatever you know I mean all of those who cares if you're all millennial who right. cares I don't care it yeah, don't matter. build a church on that yeah. like, oh, the pre millennial church but you know? people have done that oh, right they've come out with their big charts and they put them on that and some churches some day Adventists still do that I mean there's some people that just roll out everything. And point to all this stuff, and they're so dogmatic, and it has. And it's to very be this convincing. Way. It's very convincing, yeah. And then, yeah. then, then, what, and this is the crazy thing. Yeah. So it's very convincing, and then you can see someone else. You go, well, oh, that's very convincing. Yeah. So, that's. The, the, I'm going to find that book. I think it's called The Colors of the Rainbow, which is probably not. And, that and good does anymore. it uh, have all the sides of it what has, people believe? It, and it has, doesn't land anywhere. No, no, what? It's a wonderful book because it gives all four major views, and then all the amillennialists. 
tells you what he thinks about the other views and why he, what okay. he thinks about it. And then the post millennialist does that. And so, so it's like you a little get, debate in a book. Yeah, it's a debate in a book. You get four views and you get four reasons why people think it's good and why what some of the issues of each one of them. And what you'll discover is that you cannot be dogmatic. Well, you, I, I would say if discover. I read that book, I would come away going, I, I agree with all four of them yeah, yeah, that's they're ex- so convincing. And they're all biblical. That's, what I, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah none yeah. of them are just pie in the sky like, yeah, no, I think this. Yeah, They'll no show one's you just, scriptures. Yeah, no one's just picking it out of the... Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I don't know if that's true enough. Somebody wants to look that up, that'd be great. I, I, I mean, maybe one of them... I haven't studied it. Maybe one of them is weak. I don't know. Well, this is what usually happens, honestly, okay? This is what happens. Some of this stuff is so complicated... In, especially in some of the views, like all millennialism, is, is some of it's complicated, or post millennial, or pre They're all they all have some complications in them, and so if you've been taught one of those things, you, everything has to go through that filter of yeah. what you've been taught, right? Mm-hmm. And so, unless you're an expert, like like Anthony Hockema is an, a wonderful, wonderful theologian, and he's an all millennialist, and that guy is brilliant. And you read his stuff, and you're going, "This has to be it." Right. You know, <laughs> because he's he's a, he's a scholar. He's brilliant. He knows the languages. He understands it. And you're going, this is amazing. So that's where I came from. That's my background. It's a little bit like the uh, presidential debates because yeah. these are not these are bright people, political people who have had all kinds of they have information at their fingertips. And so one person talks for two minutes. You go, well, that makes sense. Yeah. And then yeah. the other one, and the other one talks, and that makes sense. It's the opposite. And then they go, well, he lied, he lied, and then <laughs> and then you're a mess. Yeah. But well, it's like a courtroom too, right? Because if yes. you're listening to the court, you're listening to the prosecutor. Yeah, they're both getting and, good sides. And the pro- and you're going, this person is guilty of sin. And then you listen to the defense, uh-huh. and you're going, I don't know. Well, it's yeah. um, it is, and, it's, and there is a truth, right? And there, but we don't know what the truth is. But right. with the Bible, we know the truth, the simple truth. Yeah, the Get truth ready. about what he's. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the simple. This truth. is not. This is not truth against a lie. This right. is just opinion of the truth versus yes. opinion of yeah. the truth. Yeah, I don't think anyone. Well, there are some people trying to deceive with this, but but the four main main views aren't a deception. No. They're not trying to deceive you. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying. Yeah, they're just saying I think this is what it is. And but some of us are so dogmatic in those opinions. Look, even and this is a good example. I told you this before. Elton used, Elton used to say to me all the time. He said, "Don't be so conservative, your brains get stuck, and don't be so liberal, they fall out." Well, what that means when you're so conservative about your view is that I, that's the only view there is. And some things you need to be conservative with, like Jesus is the answer. That's it. He, Jesus, I am the way and the truth, and like no one comes to the Father except by me. Well, if you believe in Jesus, you got to believe that statement. And a literal flood, yeah, and a, a literal, literal yeah, yeah, that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but this is this is meant to be difficult. Prophecy is like that. Mm-hmm. Prophecy is is not. It's it's a prophetic language which allows for metaphor and it allows for all kinds of other illustrations and. Those can be misinterpreted. It's not black as black, white as white. We, uh, we pick on the apostles and say, how did they not know he was yeah, going to yeah, die? Yeah, he yeah, said yeah, it. Yeah. But until they saw it, they didn't get it. Sure. I think it's the same with us. Yeah. Until we see this, we'll yeah. go, ah. <laughs> when when this happens. We'll all get it. Yeah. The only thing that I wanted you to get from yesterday was you will not have any trouble knowing that yeah, it's that's the true. real Jesus And when you see up. it, you'll say, that's when it. When you see it, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. And it's and and you won't have any doubt. Trust me, God will not leave you doubting. He knows how to communicate with us. That's why I say it's up to Him to show Himself. Yeah, don't be scared by himself. people yeah. who say you you missed it and come to our religion. Yeah. And I've got to say that the one good thing about this, other than it makes my mind fry, is <laughs> God w- would love for us. Satan does not want us to talk about right, scripture. Right. Even these kinds of things. These right. Are, right. It's, it's good to dig in deep. Right. Um, regard and just whatever side you take or whatever it's good it's good to go deep right right so that's positive right but we don't want to confuse people we certainly don't want to say this is it because right. I don't know I know you don't know we just don't well, know. well I I'm the first to admit I don't know yeah. I don't I don't think I've told Billy yesterday I don't think I'm very smart I don't well, I don't believe not, that not because I, of that I, no but but I don't know if I could grasp it all intellectually even is what I'm saying it's because there's a lot of conversations out there that I cannot follow yeah, you know I look to, listen yeah, to those too. conversations and I go man I don't think I'm intellectual enough to get this you know and and that's not what but but if but if you feel that way this is what you should do i'm telling you this true because i have to do this you just need to dig in until you do get it till you do understand what they're saying 
And then once you understand what they're saying, then you can judge it. But you can't judge it until you understand it. Right, and and yeah. your judgment might be wrong. But, yeah, yeah. So stay open. Yeah, I'd yeah. just like to go to chapter twenty six. Uh, <laughs> just move right. Just up move through. right through twenty four. But we can't do that. We no. can't do that. And why can't we do that? Because God said this is important for you to wrestle with. Mm-hmm. That's why I put it in there. So we're going to wrestling wrestle with is it. a good verb. Yeah, yeah. That, that. Thank you. I didn't even know that was a verb. Well, that's well, we're wrestling. We are. I mean, that's that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're wrestling with this. I don't wrestle sense. with divorce. I don't wrestle with you know Jesus adultery. I don't you know those. Yeah. Are, I don't want to you know no, those no. are fine. Yeah. but this is prophecy. I'll I'll wrestle with for yeah, sure. Yeah, and revelation. Yeah. So I'm so so one. This is what happens to people. They're really dogmatic if they've been taught in one way. But if they'll be open enough to look at all the views. And, and see what they mean and what they say and kind of understand them even a little bit, then you back off from being dogmatic. And that's a good thing when it comes to prophecy. That's a good thing. And, so, and I've got to yeah. say, if you've been taught this at all, yeah. you've been going on a Wednesday night or a Sunday or somewhere because so, yeah. most of the they Sunday morning, this, no yeah. one's talking about this on Sunday morning, are yeah. they? Well, uh, there are a couple people, but not generally. No. Yeah. 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 So yeah. kudos to you if you know this and been taught something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, do you see why we want to we want to pray about this today? <laughs> because it's the blind leading the blind. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. So 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 just take what we say about this with you yeah, filter it. Filter it through Christ. Just ask him if it's good. But at least you're going to at least you're going to get the basics that he, that are very simple to understand. You're going to get those going through this conversation but we're not going to go into heavily into what those four no because that'll get that confuses us and it'll confuse you yeah well i i think i understand it enough to tell you what they mean but and and, but the problem is is that it doesn't matter at this point it's it's not necessary for us to do that to get some of this this the i say simple messages but i don't mean that they're they're not intellectual i don't mean that they're they're simplistic or backward or anything like that what I mean is, is that there are some things in here that you're gonna that are gonna open themselves up to you, and it, you're gonna discover what the real fundamental meaning is. What's the foundational meaning of this? And then everything has to be built on top of that. That's what you have to remember. So once you get the foundational meaning, then you can go talk about all that other stuff and see where it fits. So that's what I'm talking about. Does that make sense? Okay. I know you didn't answer me, but I suppose that you <laughs> got it. <laughs> We've noticed the last three days you haven't engaged at all with this, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Oops, we better get off this. I know. <laughs> if you're having a good time, let us know. <laughs> all right, you have a friend that w- that we need to pray for. Well, my right? sister's friend. Her oh, name yeah. is uh, her name's Nikki Lee. I, I can't in my head now. Okay, okay. so I'll, I'll open in prayer for sure, her. Sure, She's, yeah, sure. Okay. And, and anything else though that can you think of besides Nikki? Um, and then Leilani, yes. Dennis Junior's uh, daughter. daughter I, yeah. I just her Dennis saw. and Lady's granddaughter. Yeah. So Leilani and then Nikki, Nikki Lee's in ICU in Seattle. Uh, she has all, um, all her organs have failed and they yeah. don't know why. Wow. She's only 26, right? Yeah, she's only oh, 26. Her. And Leilani had a really high white blood count, which means there's an infection. That's what a white blood count means. Oh, but so yeah. you know what it is. I didn't see. I just saw. Okay, so she's. Uh, in, she, it's a physical problem. Yes, it's a physical problem. It's a high white blood count. And um, I, I, I think Dennis sent that. I think it was Dennis. Where is she? In Arizona, somewhere in okay. a hospital. Okay. I don't know what. I don't know if she's living there. If they were traveling with Dennis and Laney, and it just happened. Okay. I'm not sure what it what that was all about. But anyway, they um they are um they are, they are asking prayer for her. So I don't know what her blood count is today. What the white cell blood count is today. But anyway, but anyway, that there's a there's an infection that they can't find, and that's really what okay. what that's all about. So whenever your white blood cells counts, I believe that's right. If somebody text me and tell us or, or do something on you and tell me if I'm wrong but I, I think that's correct all right are white blood cells the privileged ones or not they're the ones that they're the ones that fight disease okay and so when you have a high blood count then that means there's an infection someplace that they're trying to fight the problem is when it's too high and you don't know an infection then Inflammation so you don't want to have too many white blood cells. Well, you want to have the right amount. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I think the normal amount. Again, I'll, you guys got to test me on this because I don't remember a lot of this. I studied this a while ago, but I think it's like ten thousand. The count should be like ten thousand. I don't know if that's right or not, but anyway, that's okay. the number you're looking for. That was a joke. Yeah, I know it I know. was, but I don't. So know. you want me to pray first? Yeah, because yeah. I need help. <laughs> uh, dear Heavenly Father, we uh, we do lift up Leilani and yes, we put her in Jesus. your hands and Thank we. You, Jesus. And obviously, we're not doctors. We don't know anything. But yeah, we just amen. pray that you'd be the Lord of this, that Leilani be looking to you, that Dennis Jr., Laney and Dennis, 
you know, the entire family that this, you know, you do works through this. Not only do you do something in Leilani's life, but the people watching. So we put her in your hands. Be the Lord of her situation in the hospital uh, with this infection. And for Nikki, um, uh, I can't think of her last Lee. name. Uh, Nikki Lee, thank you. My uh, Phyllis's friend, the 26-year-old uh, woman who's uh, in an ICU in Seattle Jesus. and has had all kinds of failure of her organs, I pray. I don't know where she's at with you, Lord, but I pray that you would be the, the Lord of that as well. You know, and for anyone who's struggling this morning, we all have uh, all kinds of issues, uh, physical, emotional, uh, you know, mental, mm -hmm. you know, financial. And uh, Lord, be the Lord of our lives and help us to submit to you in this. And as we open your word, Lord, it is a submission because we're reading your word and we're, we admit, we say amen to what you say. And yeah. we say, we don't, we, we teach us. We say, send your Holy Spirit to yes, teach us Jesus. that we don't know. Amen. And especially now in, 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 like we talked about Matthew 24. So uh, I pray that uh, the words today from, Ma uh, from chapter 24 would encourage people. It would give them hope. Uh, because that's what you, that's what you're answering disciples. You're giving them hope yes. that you're the way that you're coming back, and you're just marking the signs. You're just putting little markers out there, yes. and um, help us to not look left or right, or not to get stuck on on things. Uh, help us to keep the big picture about you coming back, and that we need to be ready starting today, starting right now, Lord. We want to be ready for your coming back. You know, Maranatha is that the word I think, or something like Hosanna Maranatha, something like that. <laughs> So uh, we give you this time. I just thank you for who you are and for an opportunity to speak about you. I pray for, I thank you for my uh, brotherhood with Rick, with the two of us. Uh, we're not alone here. It's two or more, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're discussing your word, we're wrestling with it. And we know that you're in the midst of this. So Lord, be the Lord of this too, we pray in Jesus' name. Just thank you, Father, for yeah. today. I thank you so much for an opportunity to open this word. Father, I pray that your message that you have intended for us to understand will be understood. I pray, Lord God, that this word will begin to reveal itself, will begin to open itself up to us, <laughs> will begin to show the message that you want the world to understand about your second coming. I pray, Father, that you will minister to our intellectual understanding, to our spiritual understanding, that you will teach us all things in every way, that you will give us an experience with this so that we can understand what it means. I pray, Father, again, that you I, I rely on your word, John 14, 26, who will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. I pray that word, John 14, 26, over this word and over us today, that you will teach us all things, that you will be the teacher, the Holy Spirit, the teacher. And I pray that you will use us today, even though we're inadequate and really very not worthy of it, I pray, Father, that you will use us to open this word and allow this message to show itself to those who would watch and listen now and later. Thank you so much, God, for today. Pray for our families. I pray for my children. Pray for Billy's children, for the children of all those who are out there. I pray, Lord God, they would make good decisions. And I pray, God, that our children would know you and love you and that they would set you up as Christ and King in their life. Thank you for the submission, Father, that's in their life toward you. I pray for that and now in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, God, for taking care of this time together. In your holy and precious, holy and precious name, we ask these things. Amen. Amen. Let me put it up here. <laughs> so we're in, if you don't know yet, <laughs> yeah, we're in Matthew 24. <laughs> that, dead, that dead horse. Matthew 24. I'm going to put 32 to... Uh, Probably forty-four at least. Yeah, we'll 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 get we'll get as quick far as we can. Because <laughs> Billy wants to get out of this we'll chapter. <laughs> yeah. We might even get to the end. We might get to the end. We'll see. No, we like this chapter. We yeah. do. We we. It's not that no, we don't. It's not that we don't like this chapter. It's that we want to understand it better. Yeah, yeah. I like everything in red. Yeah, I just yeah, like yeah. to have. I'd like to say what I think it says. <laughs> <laughs> well, do that. It's fine. I know, I know. Good. I'm going to go to forty-four. Is that what you said? Yo, yeah, well, starting thirty-two though. Oh, thirty-two. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, oh, we're way back up there. Okay. Yeah, the fig tree. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I was, yeah, okay. Remember, he t he just he just talked about when the Son of Man is going to appear. He gave the signs of it and, and the signs that about about the, the sun completely being blacked out, you know, all that stuff, the stars falling from the sky. And then, and he, then he says, now learn this lesson from the fig tree. So he's telling you, this, this is the way Jesus teaches. He's an amazing teacher, and we already know that, but let me tell you why I think he's an amazing teacher here. He does, he does what we're supposed to learn to do as teachers all over the place. He speaks to your highest spiritual and emotional intellect, 
And then he gives you an illustration so that you'll understand what he just said. And this is a perfect, perfect illustration of how that works. So he's just downloaded all this stuff that nobody, his disciples didn't understand at all. Mm -hmm. And we don't understand it all. And he just downloaded all this stuff on us. Now he says, this is what it means by this illustration. So let's look at the illustration and see if we can't glean some meaning from what we read yesterday. Verse 32. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. You know, they didn't they didn't have the weather channel to know when, <laughs> when things were going to happen, right? So they, he says, look at nature. Nature will tell you what's going to happen with the changing season. It says, even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. I know a problem. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? Let right? me go, okay, let me go back to the, the problem I did yesterday because I saw the word trumpet in yeah, thirty one, yeah, and I yeah. said, "What you said? What do you think that is?" And I said, "The the rapture. It's not. Yeah, and I don't think yeah, it's the rapture. Yeah, yeah, because there's no way that the sun and the moon is darkening and that people are going to mourn when he comes back. It, when he comes back for the rapture, we're going to be thrilled. Come on up." It's when he comes back yeah, to judge. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think. I was yeah. so wrong about that. Yeah. that so that's here, before the great white throne judgment, there's no yeah. and all this stuff here um, could not has not even happened yet. So if he's talking about this generation standing in front of me, so you have to. Here's what I've read. It means this is a seven year time. He talked about a seven year time. There's going to be this, 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 earth, blah, 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 the, the tribulation. So that's less than a generation, right? So people, that generation, won't, it's going to happen quick. It's not a thousand years. It's going to happen quick. That's one interpretation, that this generation that this happens to will not pass away before, before this takes place. And, and that is the most logical interpretation that we have. It, it Probably. Really, yeah. really, and then there's, really. isn't there one that there's says about 70 AD? Because yeah, the people yeah. who think, we've talked about, right. I don't even want to say 70 AD anymore, but <laughs> when the temple is destroyed 40 years later, right, right, right. That These would incorporate this, this generation. generation. So right. people who believe that all of this has happened in, in 70 AD, then that's that generation. And that would be an amillennial. Okay. So there you go. So that's that's some of the reasons why we but believe. But I mean, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, Rick yeah, stops yeah, reading and yeah, now you yeah. go, yeah. Troubling. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's I, David Guzik calls it a dilemma. He calls yeah. these dilemmas. Yeah, it is a dilemma. dilemma. Yeah, because it's... Because it, 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 Jesus doesn't lie. He knows what he's talking about. about. We so, don't. <laughs> so we're trying to figure it out. Right. So, so what he says here about the fig tree, that's the lesson he wants you to get. And what he's saying is, and maybe he's saying this, okay? Just maybe. I don't know. Just maybe. Maybe he's saying just like you, this generation can see what happens to a fig tree, this generation is going to understand some of these things before, I, before it passes away. That could be another interpretation. We again, that's why I'm saying some of this stuff we don't get. You know, it's 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 it, it's not clear to us what it means. So okay, so there you go. And I've got to tell you, because we live in 2020, 1948, Israel became a nation, and when that happened, it was such a. If you think of a lock and or a puzzle going click, yeah. and you go, oh, it's almost in place. That for people who study this stuff uh -huh. said. Here we go. Yeah, we're this on. generation is not going to die. We're, we're yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And that's why people think these are the last days, and that's why people think this is getting close because 1948, and yeah. they have that generation yeah. thing in mind. The, one of the other conversations is this: when he says that this generation will not pass away on all, until all these things happen, you go back up to the beginning of the illustration. The illustration says you you will know when you see the fig tree, what, what it, that is changing to summer. You'll right. know that. So he says, when you see these things begin to happen, that generation will know. Will understand. Yeah, you're and right. That, that's the most logical. That's one. the most logical. So, one. so that's uh, what I believe. That's how what Lindsay says. wrote the late great planet Earth in 1960. I don't know. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know either. I didn't. And and Lindsay. and you know, and I've never read the book, but um, that was that's less than 20 years after 1948, and it was a big hit, and everybody was waiting. And and I I don't know that the Jesus movement was because of 1948, but in the 70s there was a big revival. Big Jesus movement, yeah. And everybody, I'm sure, in the 70s, but I wasn't saved yet, thought he's here. Let's go. And now it's 2020. Yeah. So we've had a lot of people since the 70s, I'm thinking, say, he's coming on this date, on this year, on the, right. right, haven't we? And yeah. even written books about it. Let me tell you one of the dangers here, the biggest danger here. The biggest danger is, depending on how you interpret all these things, 
you might get into a into a very lethargic view of Jesus' coming. You might just say, well, he's not coming. You know, we haven't started to see any of these things happen yet. We haven't started to see the sun black out and all this stuff. And the moon doesn't shine anymore. We have the stars haven't fallen. But they from talk the sky. about blood moons, you know. Yeah, that, I yeah. know. Well, that's one of the reasons, right? We mm-hmm. talked about that yesterday. But we really haven't seen it like this. We haven't seen this no. amazing thing that's going to be like something we've never seen before. So, you know what? He's not really coming soon. So I got all kinds of time to figure out my relationship with him. That's the problem with yeah, this. Don't do that. Yes. And I think that's why I think that's why Jesus doesn't tell us specifically. Well, you're previewing right. the faithful and evil servant right. cuz right. yeah, that's cut. he's going to say yes. this. So, don't don't do that. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm saying he I But think on the that's other side, doing. and I don't know if you told me the story or if I read it somewhere that in the 70s, this this couple sold everything. Yeah, they had. I told you. Okay. Story, yeah. And um, and never recovered never. because somebody said, you Even know, the, today. Yeah. And so here here's something for us today. Right. Someone's going to win the election. Don't overreact. <laughs> well, don't I overreact. sure hope we don't. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just saying, me personally, the people we're talking no, to. No, no, the I'm nation. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. But some people will uh, overreact, like what happened with the governor of. Uh, Oh, Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. It's like these are, um, you need to take a breath, step back, and Jesus is telling us that. Yeah. Be on high alert for Jesus at all time, but but don't overreact to, right. to events like blood moons and elections. And don't, and, and don't politicize all this that's nonsense. That's true, too. You know, yeah. because the governor of Michigan, if you don't know, there were like 11 people or 17 people, I don't know, it doesn't matter the number, that were, that were planning on kidnapping her. And other government officials, because they thought she was an insurrectionist, and they were yeah. going to charge her with with uh, treason, and so this militia group was going to do that. But well, she comes out and she makes it really political. You know, that's not smart for her. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't you don't politicize that. That's if you have lunatic people, that's not any person. That's not any political. You know, I mean, forget that. Don't politicize that. Okay, stuff. well, you're okay. We so, we finally have a question. Can you okay. explain the different views? What the fig tree is. Well, the fig tree is basically a fig tree. Yeah, there's no view on the fig. Yeah, the, this the fig tree is he. All he's saying with the fig tree is that when this happens to the fig tree, when it starts to have these buds on it, you'll know summer's coming. Just and it's very simple. That's all it means. And so what he's saying here is when when the, this is what I think he's saying, when the generation that sees these things that we read yesterday, you can go back and read them. The things, the things, when they see that, that generation will not pass away. So get ready. If you want to really get ready, get ready then. But this is, the again, this is the problem with that. The problem is, is that you and I, if we haven't seen the fig tree, if we haven't seen these signs that Jesus said, and we don't think we've seen them, then we can get real complacent about trusting Christ. Oh, I got all kinds of time. Look, nobody has all kinds of time. We have no idea. When, when he's coming back. He, Jesus said, no one knows the time or the date. We, we, I, I, I don't think, I personally we don't think we've seen these signs. I personally don't think that he's coming back very soon. I think we might be in the, the beginning of that, but I still haven't seen these signs that he's talked about. No, no, so, no. But, so, and, you know, I don't know. And the complacency, I think if you're reading the Bible and the Holy Spirit lives in you, you're not complacent. These are well, for people who go to church and say, I'll get to church someday. I don't yeah, even think they you, know these verses, but but for but you're right. right it's right. possible for someone to know these verses. Say, great, I've got time. Well, that's not much of a bridegroom. That's not much. Well, we, he we says even the elect could be deceived. So. No, but I mean that's not yeah. much of a. That's not a good attitude to no, say. No, it's not a good hey, attitude. Hey, can I? Yeah, if yeah. you've truly come to Christ and you're in love right. with Him and the Holy Spirit is whatever. Right. The Uriel, I would say this verse here about the fig tree. That's a summary. What yeah, we right, just read right, that right. that that made my mind go crazy about. You know, it, when they said, what are the signs of the times? And, right. and from verse 5 on, right. he's going blah, 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 blah. And then he says, look at the fig tree. It, that's a, just it's a summary of what he just yeah, said. Yeah. And it, then, of course, he says something. He's telling us with the fig tree, again, that it's when you can under, you'll can understand. Yeah, he talks look, about how plain is it? This is the point I think he's making. How plain is it? These things sound complicated, but how easy is it for you to, to, know go, what summer is. to go look at a fig tree? Right. It's not hard. He it's goes, not a difficult thing. So God will show this to you, and you will know it. That, I think that's what he's telling you. You're going to know when these things are from him. Yes. You're going to know that, and, and I think that's what he's, he's saying. He talks about birth pains. He talks yes, about yes, vultures yes. in the sky with a carcass. He talks yeah, about, yeah. and he, he keeps saying these, because they ask the question. He, Jesus answers the question. He goes, when will I know that it's going to come? Right. 
it's coming right after this. Right, right. After they bud on a fig right, tree. Right, right, after, right. You know, that's what. So they're... you'll know it. You'll know it. So it doesn't mean that you should go out and watch fig trees. It means that <laughs> yeah. that you're gonna know, you're gonna know without doubt that these things are happening. And when you start seeing those, if you're living in that generation, that generation will not pass until these things. Come and about. that's a good point because uh, yeah. here's what happens what when we wrap this up in our mind. People, they they camp on. When he's coming back, right. and they lose track of love, joy, peace, right, patience, right, 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 forgive right. your peace. You right. know, the, our life is supposed to be a life of have joy today, right. and forgive yeah. your mother or brothers today. today. Right, right, and right. Uh, and if someone asks you, hey, d is this coronavirus something? You can have an answer for that. Yeah. But but don't don't don't. <laughs> the, the word for in the Jewish, well, the Hebrew word is kvetch. You just kvetch over the kvetch, yeah. you kvetch over this thing. Don't don't. Well well, you asked a question that's really important. Well, people ask the question, does the coronavirus telling us that we're in the end times? Well, the re it's both yes and no. <laughs> yeah, we're in the end times because we don't know when the end times are. So Jesus com could come tomorrow. All these things could happen this afternoon that he said. <laughs> you, and he might show up. You, know, you never know. That's not the point. The point is, is that it's no because you haven't seen all of these other things taking place on our earth right now. And he says, it's going to be as simple as looking at a fig tree. When it starts to have leaves, you know summer's coming. You just have to stay that's biblical that's because simple. here's what the coronavirus is. The word everyone uses, it's unprecedented, which it is. Right, and right, what right, that right. means is a precedent means something that preceded it. Nothing's preceded That's like this. it. That's like Nothing it. like this at all. This yeah. is like, oh, this is so much like this. No, right. it's not. Well, guess what? The, the nuclear, uh, the atomic bomb, no precedent for right, that. Right, right, right. He didn't come back. That's got nothing to do with the Bible. AIDS, no precedent to that. We constantly have unprecedented things. But people yeah. want to say, oh, there'll be um, zombies now. And the, not <laughs> biblical. People coming back as zombies is not biblical. biblical. Absolutely. So not stay biblical. biblical. Yeah. Yes, we're in the end times. The coronavirus is nowhere in the Bible. Well, sort of. But, um, well, yeah, we're Blake's getting, we're, we're getting yeah. closer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you haven't seen these really yeah. specific things that he told you to look for. Wait for the Jews to build a temple. How about, yeah. You know what? Yeah. I've, here's what I've heard. Yeah. You want to say how, Lindsay, I did yeah. get this teaching yeah. from yeah. him. Israel is God's timepiece. Right, it is. So and, and we know that's Israel. true. Yeah. Watch what Israel does, and you'll know how the Bible, you know, the clock or, is going. Or just read this over again and say, okay, um, then the Son of Man, the sign, then, then verse 30, then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Okay, it, go read that, and then go read stuff prior to that. That's that's all the way from verse 5 to verse verse 29 so read it and when when you see some of those things taking place and it's not oh maybe i saw that see that's the problem it's not oh maybe i saw that it's like you you will know god will come it's like it's going to be understanding it's going to have such an understanding going to be so simple for you that it's like looking at a fig tree and when the leaves come on you know summer's coming it's that's what he's saying to us that's the that's that's the importance of the fig tree conversation, I think. Okay, so we've said that about fifteen. But times. you know, and I, yeah. uh, I think it's we. Are, I keep saying Daniel nine, Daniel nine. Right, Let me right. just read you this one part because it's very specific, and this is what in, this, in Daniel nine. In Daniel nine, yeah. twenty six, twenty four says seventy weeks are determined for your people and your holy city. That's right. the Jews and Jerusalem. Focus on Israel, and then in twenty six, after the sixty two weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince. Who is to come shall destroy the city this is the antichrist and the sanctuary well there is no sanctuary there the end of it shall be with a flood till the end of the war desolation is determined then he the antichrist shall confirm a covenant with many for one week we're not going to miss this there's going to be a peace treaty that the antichrist says the whole world right, will know there's right. a peace treaty you're not right. going to say what so this now you go start your stopwatch that starts the tribulation but in the middle of the week i shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering that's halfway through and then he's going to sit on the, I don't want to read anymore, but the, this is, uh, this is, says weeks, but we know this is seven years. So on this, after the 60, after 62 weeks, the city of Jerusalem will be destroyed. There will be, the sanctuary will be destroyed. And there's a guy who will make a peace treaty with the world. Has that happened? Has that happened? That, that's if you're a premillennialist. No, okay. but, but I mean, it hasn't even, it doesn't matter when that happens, it hasn't no, happened. No, 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 that, that means if you're premillennial, if you interpret this pre, premillennially, that's what you're going to say. That's perfect, perfect conversation. 
so if, if that's what you are, then look for that. I don't. It's no, no. I, well, but all I'm saying is that there's going no, to be somebody that's going to make no, a peace treaty. I, I understand. I don't that's, know when that's going to happen. That's, it could happen in the middle or the end. It could happen anytime you like. Th- okay, th- that's, but it's going to happen. R- right, right. So look for right, that. Right, right. Look, look for look uh, for the peace treaty. Look for the peace treaty right. with with Israel. And we, and by the way, we have things like that. Well, it's that you <laughs> right now. President Bush, I'm excuse me. <laughs> President Trump has been nominated. I don't know if you know this, but for three Nobel Peace Prizes, three, not just two. The, the, the news is not going to tell you that stuff, but he has been nominated for three. And I'm going to tell you what for, for the peace treaties that he is making in the Middle East. With the Arab Emirates and Israel. But, yes, and by the way, yes. that's unprecedented. That's unprecedented. That is never, Arabs Without Jews. bloodshed, which is amazing. Well, even so. Yeah, 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 but without bloodshed. So that's incredible if you think about it's it. It's only the Palestinians right. uh, who will never sign anything, but... Even, well, but you, but, but they will sign when this guy shows up. That's it, right. The, the Palestinians. So, okay. will show, yes. you, so just keep yes. your eyes on Israel. Yes. If yes. you see yes. some, I don't care if it's President Trump or whoever it is. If somebody gets Palestine to, to sign, sign a peace treaty with Israel, Israel, then you're, you're, go you're run, like, to, run to the hills. <laughs> you're, you're like going, okay, start the stopwatch. Because that's yeah. biblical. That's yeah. biblical. Yeah. Because so so that's what I'm talking about. So so if these signs are going to be, did you see did you see Billy's reaction? That's right, okay? Yes, yes. Because that's biblical. So that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of interpretations with this. If you see that, because every one of these four views has a conversation about the Antichrist. Well, which was written first, right. Daniel or when Jesus spoke? Daniel. Daniel. Well, who wrote Daniel? Daniel. Jesus. Jesus. The Holy the Spirit. Book of, yeah. the, this, they're not going to disagree. So whatever right, Jesus right. is talking about, and we, I'm, again, I don't understand. I don't know when it's going to happen or middle end. Right, 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 I don't right, care right. about that. Yeah. But he's talking about Daniel 9.26. About, about this right, guy. Right, right, right. And then, by the way, you want to go forward to Thessalonians? Well, who, Paul talks about it. Who's talking about Daniel 9 26? When, when he's, Jesus is. Yes, Jesus. When he's it, talking about it. He's right. just giving us, he's, fill, I, he's filling in the details. I'm filling in the cracks here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jesus, so so here's in, what you have. In what we just read in 24, he's talking about Daniel. Daniel, yeah. through the Holy Spirit, says, 62 week, this is going to happen, blah, blah, blah. Jesus says, they say to Jesus, he goes, well, the sun, the moon, he, he's yeah. telling all this stuff. When you see that, get out of there. And then Paul talks about it too. Right. So you can piece all that together if you want, but we don't know when, yeah. but just keep your eye on Israel. I think and keeping your eye on Israel is, is, a, is a good thing. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with that at all. And, and listen, that generation, that's what I think this means here, that generation who sees that happening, it doesn't say no one will die during that time. It says that generation. So however long generation is. I think what's today a generation? People live about 70. Okay. So within a 70-year span, which is a pretty interesting thing if you think about it. And I don't want to get political here, but the president we have now has been the most pro-Israel president ever. 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 Whatever you think of this guy. And the other party is not pro-Israel. Oh, no. no, they're not. So, um, so I don't even know what that means, like we could control Israel, but we're in a country that has always supported Israel, and now they've supported them with, with actually moving the embassy to Jerusalem right. and with right. signing peace treaties. Right. Right. That's... Uh... And, and, and really, if you want to know why I support Israel, because the Bible says that if I support Israel, we will be... If we support we're supposed Israel, to pray for Israel. And we'll be blessed. Yes. That's, it's, it's a selfish thing, because I want God's blessing. I support Israel 100% because I want I want God's blessing. And, you know, I'm Jewish, and Rick always says, well, he knows this because he's Jewish. I was the worst Jew you ever knew. <laughs> I couldn't even spell Jewish, okay? Don't rely on me for Jewish. I'm, I'm born Jewish the way he's born Mexican or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But it does bother me when I go to church, and we have this Old Testament, and people don't know anything about the Jews, Abraham, right, Isaac, right, and Jacob. Right. And you shouldn't be in that position now. To, tomorrow to night, Sunday that, night, right? not tomorrow night, but whatever Sunday night is, I'm going to do something on Judaism. Yeah. I've learned stuff. You should start to study um, Israel, the Jews, and pray for them. Right. Because as, as good Christians, that's that we should do that. Right. So, see, we said we were going to spend a lot of time in here. Look, we spent almost all of our time today just on these few verses, yeah. which is good. This, See, but this is, I think this is the fundamental. Well, how do you the, not stop at 34? You, you have to. It, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. you did. You yeah, were like, yeah, yeah, You have to, because you have to explain that. You have that to talk makes about no, that. It's, it's yeah. a dilemma. Unless you, unless you understand, it doesn't really make sense unless you understand it in the way that we've been talking about, that the generation who begins to see who begins to see very plainly these signs that God said would be given to us, when we begin to see those, then you start, that generation will will, will see all of the, uh, his second coming. 
And it's going to be as easy as walking out to a fig tree, putting a time-lapse camera on it, and as soon as you start seeing the buds come on the time-lapse camera, you're going to go, boom, time to start the clock. And here's the click for you. Yeah, you ready yeah, for the yeah, click? Yeah, yeah. The fig tree in the Bible always represents Israel. Israel. Yeah. Yeah. No, it does. So when you see Israel, click. Yeah, and we don't know if that's true here, but you know what? It's, it's consistent. It, it makes it. It's, it's consistent, yeah. and that's why. Do you remember on Sunday night, Jaime used to always say, I, I want you to talk about end times. You yeah. know, I said, well, I'm where I'm at, you know, yeah. but he always wanted uh, end time end stuff. Time stuff. Yeah. Well, you got yeah. it. If, if Jaime's watching this, you got it. Yeah, but you're really not getting it. I mean, you are, but you're not getting the stuff that some that people want when they want to talk about end times. Okay. They want charts, and they want... Yeah, no. <laughs> but, but that's not what this is, and I'm not going to... I don't want to... And we're only that. here right. because we're here. Yeah, because a we week from now we will be, be here. We'll right. be at the cross. Yeah, yeah. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. <we'll> be <laughs> we hope it doesn't take us longer to read all this than it took Jesus to, <laughs> to get, get to there. the cross. <laughs> well, it, it's already been longer. Yeah. So sorry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're are, uh, we, this, are we done this, with that? This is this is a verse people put on the refrigerator. Verse thirty-five: Heaven and oh. earth will pass away, oh. but my words will by no means pass away. Yeah. Well, and, and, and I think that's true for all of his words. I don't think that's true just for this. Oh, but, no. but what Jesus is telling us is, look, you can you can take what I just told you to the bank. Yeah, don't even, the bank, don't, bank doesn't know what to do with it either. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. saying, this, this is truth. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Yeah, so so he's, he's really reiterating the fact that what he says is going to take place. And so who, get and, ready. And, it's the, and who he is, authority. Yeah, yeah, he's Who the could say something like that? The only, the only, it, <laughs> he's well, nuts. He's, he's either a crazy person or he's he's God. Yeah, who yeah. can say, heaven will pass away, the earth's going to pass away, but my words never going to pass away. Or, he, you know, there was a famous book, he's a liar, the Lord, or yes. a lunatic. Yes. Right? The, the, Josh McDowell, I think, is, you know, is the one who pinned all that. I think it's, time yeah, and I like yeah. that. He's yeah. either the Lord or a lunatic, because the liar part, this is liars don't talk like this lunatics don't talk like this yeah or he, but 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 you ask yourself a question all the stuff that we've studied so far has jesus ever been it, it, it has he ever been caught lying no never they couldn't catch him they couldn't lie. catch him in a lie because he's not a liar and and that's one of the things that you can know and is he a lunatic He's the well, most sane person on the planet. I agree, but, but if life. you don't believe him, you have. To, but you can't go halfway with Jesus. You said yeah, before, yeah. go all in. Yeah, you There's can't. no halfway with right. Jesus. So you have to believe he's Lord. You really do when you start thinking about what we're talking about. There's no other alternative for us to think. In fact, mm -hmm. Josh McDowell was an atheist and wanted to disprove that Jesus was who he was. He started to disprove it, became a Christian. Who was the, the Christian? Uh, the, 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 uh, Lee Strobel. Chicago. Yeah, Lee, Lee Strobel. Strobel. We've got a, a reporter... Yeah. And an atheist lawyer, and they both write these books. They're, they're basically just Paul on the right. road to Damascus. Yeah, yeah, that's they, who they are. Yeah, they Paul get, saying, "No, no, no." And he gets boom. He gets boom. It. Yeah, yeah. God will okay. do that. Okay. okay, are we ready for thirty-six? Yeah, thirty-six. Okay, we may get through thirty-six. We may not. Let's just see. Yeah. But about that day or hour, no one knows. Well, that's really plain. You know, that's mm -hmm. not a prophecy conversation. That he's just saying nobody knows when this is the day or the hour. Not even the angels in heaven nor the sun mm -hmm. so people are going well if jesus is god how come he doesn't know well go back to go back to philippians where it says that jesus emptied himself right and what that means is he's emptied himself of all the glory and he and he and he submitted himself to god the father and that is a concept in itself that is so difficult for us to understand that we can only talk about it in illustration and all of our illustrations fall short the concept of the trinity but jesus here is, t is t telling you that not even he knows at this point in his life not even he knows he knows all this stuff will happen but he too if he were around would have to watch for the fig tree he's telling him right but only the father as it was in the days of noah so think back just quickly about the days of Noah. There were eight people, built a boat, took them a hundred and what, 20 years or something like that? Isn't that, what, isn't that yeah. the, yeah, something like that? 120 years, they built this gigantic boat and, and it had, they'd, never, they'd never seen rain, by the way. Did you know that? Right. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. They'd never seen rain. <laughs> it's not like it rained every once in a while. People, and and these, he's building a boat in the middle of the desert and these people are going, what an idiot you are. Well, that's that's the issue here, and and nobody believed him. 
And he said, God told me this. And they said, you're an old fool, right? And they wouldn't believe him, and they all were destroyed. Right. All of them. Only his, only he and his seven other members of seven other members of his family. Is that correct? Is there eight, yeah, eight, 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 eight people yeah, on the ark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and, what I thought. Um, so. Yeah, and he didn't have very good sons either. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, we all... Well, um, and I think it's it's important to stop here and at least right. say this. Jesus says there was a flood. Right. Yeah. So Luann's got a an aunt. Well, yeah, her, Luann's aunt's husband. And they're Christians of some sort. And I remember years ago I had a discussion with him in his in his basement. My kids were there and he said, oh, the flood, that's just a story. Yeah. yeah. Then then fine, that's that's how you believe. Then you can't believe Jesus because Jesus isn't calling it a story. He called it the days of Noah. Oh, I didn't right. say the days in that story about Noah. Right. That, He's, and this isn't the only time he says the days of Noah in the Bible, by he, the way. He confirms um, Jonah and the whale, right. or the big fish, whatever, and right. he confirms a, uh, flood. a flood. Jesus is talking about things that we put on flannel boards and say, I don't know if I believe that. Jesus does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's confirming that. He's confirming yeah, yeah, that that's yeah. real. So don't think that's not real. It says, it was as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. So what does that mean? That means that people are going to look at Christians and say, you're stupid. We're in the days of Noah now. We're in the days of Noah For now. sure. Uh, more than ever. Yes. Really. I really mean this. If, if you want a sign, this is a pretty good sign. If you want to go look at the fig tree, maybe the fig tree's already got some leaves on it. Well, the, the culture. Know, our culture is And I mean, awful. We're, we're a, we're a, a world, world culture. We're not a world economy yet, but we're getting there. Right. And we're definitely a world culture with all the internet and stuff. And so it's not just, you know... Well, we're not a one-world economy, no. but we're a world... Okay, true. The world is connected through dollar, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and I'm not just saying Riverside or India. I'm right. saying France. And yeah, yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. Australia. Anywhere. Well, anywhere especially you look, in Europe. The culture is yeah. um, doing this. It says, in the days before the flood, they were right. eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage till the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. Yeah. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. That's so just, that's just what we read. That's just yes. further on. Yeah, he's, he's explaining reading, what yeah. the days of Noah are. Right. He'll so tell today you. people are saying they're scoffing, basically, right? Yeah, they're, they're scoffing. Ah. Yeah, they're looking at us, going, "You're the idiots. Why do you believe this? What's going love on?" Love is love, and that's that. The Bible didn't, you know, eh, who cares what the Bible says about that? Well, and it, and you guys are narrow-minded, and what yeah, you're old-fashioned, narrow-minded. You 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 stuck in the fifties. You're racist. You're everything else. You're uh, yeah, uh, what's yeah, misogynist, yeah. and we're homophobic. Yeah. And all that. What's a misogynist? Everybody oh. uses that word. What's a misogynist? Well, you're kind of misogynist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not. no, misogynist <laughs> is. Uh, Thanks it's a lot. A, well, only men. Only men. But I know only misogynist men is means that you look, you treat women right, uh, right. lesser than you right, 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 right. right. A misogynist means that you're yeah. you have a prejudice against women. Yes. Yeah. So so anyway, I just want to because people say that all the time, and I and sometimes I well, we use those. Well, terms they're calling about, us that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so we, you need to know what they're calling. Because them. Jesus had no women following. Oh, of course, he did. He had yeah. Mary, and he had plenty of people. Well, but. because he said that women should be submissive to men. Yeah. And in family. Now, I heard something the other day that I loved. I thought this was great. The, do you know the only government that God created was the family? Hmm. Now, God sets up governments now, but he didn't create those. And right. the only go I, I heard that and I thought, man, that's a really cool statement. The only government that God created was the family. Well, yeah. if that's true. Yeah, because the Jews are in tribes. Yes, yeah. In fact, we have, mine, I didn't tell you yesterday when it said, the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. Right, right. Well, that mostly the mourners will be Judaism Jews because they'll say, oh, it's him, and they'll mourn. Not that they're going to get in trouble, but more than that they got it wrong. That right, they pierced right, him right, and all that. right, right, right. So they're um, going to have, they'll have a godly sorrow. And, that's, and it, that is not the rapture. They'll have yeah, a godly yeah, sorrow yeah, when yeah. they see their brother Jesus that they had pierced right, coming back. Right. So yeah, you're right. The Jews have tribes. He created a nation with one man, but he was the king. Right. Yeah. It was and yeah. and Jethro. Everybody had tribes. You, the right. families would have leaders. Yeah, you're right. So if that and look at the family yeah, today. Yeah, but if that in fact is true. Can you now understand why he asked for a hierarchy? Because that's the government of your home. And that is that is just incredible. And can you understand why the enemy wants to destroy, destroy the that. family? Yes. Yeah. And it's not a it's yeah. not a matter of, oh, I got divorced or I didn't. It's not a, it's not a blame game. It's that's where he starts. He starts attacking the family. Right. So you think about that. The reason I brought that up in this conversation is this. Because Christians, everybody thinks they're stupid. I mean, really, the world does. If you're a mm -hmm. Christian, they think you're stupid. Mm -hmm. And they really do. Oh, yeah. And they they think you're stuck in the 50s or the 30s. Yeah, way back. Yeah. yeah. 
they they think you're old fashioned. They think that you want to go backwards and not forwards. Yeah, they, you're not progressive. You're not progressive. They think they think all kinds of things about us, and and it's not just those people in the United States. It's all in fact, it's worse in Europe than it is here, and and this is exactly what's happening. Watch what it says here. He well well well. Rick says okay. Families, God takes one family on. He doesn't take. Uh, he takes eight people who are all related. The right, sons right, of Noah and their right, wives. Right. And here's the danger. Yes, we're not progressive, we're not this and that, but churches are not going away. What's happening is churches are growing up that are progressive, right. that do accept right. the agenda. Right. And it's not gonna have Christ-centered or biblically centered, it's going to have culturally centered it's, churches. It's a social church, a social not church. a gospel church. And that's the truth, it really is the truth. And people like us are old dinosaurs, and people say, what's wrong with you that you can't get on the, get on the, the stick here and get with it? Well, the reality is, is anything it's like the emergent church, for example. The emergent yeah. church has been, that was a huge deal a few years ago, that conversation about the emergent church. And the reason that it was a huge deal is because everybody wanted an experience with God. Well, I think that's good, personally. Sure. But if you have that experience without the guide, guidance of the Holy Scripture, then you're in trouble. You cannot leave the Bible you out of it. Leave if the Rick Bible were out. a progressive church, if he had been to this, and he, I don't think he could do this in Nazarene's name, but let's just say this was his <laughs> church, then 10 years ago or 7 years ago, he'd have put a rainbow something rainbow outside yeah. and now he'd put blm outside no there and in are five there years are nazarene, he put something else there outside. are nazarene churches who are doing that Fine. i'm telling you okay that's the problem it, it is, is a problem it, that's a, the problem is is that it's not you're not immune we are not immune to that as nazarenes or not immune to that whatever your church is you're not immune to that because there are people in those churches who really are very liberal minded it's coming to a right. church near you yes yeah and and you should check us Honestly, check our church. Check me as your pastor. If you want to come to a biblical church, you have to check us. You have to say, look, that's not what Scripture says. Stay true to the Word. And if anything, that's what we need to do is stay true to the Word. If, if you want to know why this is turning so south even in the church, why it's, why it's becoming a problem even in the church, because the Christian colleges are buying into this hook, line, and sinker big time, and the kids that are coming out of those Christian colleges are, are think think what the world thinks about us. They, they do. Right. They don't. Even, they don't even want to be called Christian. I'm I'm not kidding. It's it, it's it's crazy out there. So Billy is at the reason I'm talking about this because Billy's absolutely right when he says, as it was in the day of, of Noah. He said we're living in the I days of Noah, Noah, and we are. I completely concur with that sentiment. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And this is, this is why, in the days of Noah, Billy just read this, before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and, getting, and giving in marriage, uh, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And so they were just live, they living were, life. They were just living life and didn't give a rip about what God said. Now that's exactly what we're living with today. And they had a testimony because they, Noah's called a preacher of the word. So with his yes. boat, he was telling them, even though they'd never seen rain, right. he was saying, there's something happening here. Yeah, there's, and they were saying... It's unprecedented. They, they, yeah, it was. Un and they scoffed at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, scoffed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like they're scoffing at us. Mm -hmm. Okay? And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. Okay? Until the experience of the flood, they didn't care. But when the flood came, this is what... I think Jesus is saying this. You better care now because you never know when it's going to start raining. Well, the the thing I can I the, the thing I the interpretation I'll definitely make on this it says he says so also right. with the coming of the sun. Right. They were taken away and they weren't like wait wait we had second chance. Yeah. When Jesus comes back it'll be just like the flood you're going to be taken away. Yeah, yeah, and people won't care. They'll see him and they'll they'll bow before him but they'll say, I don't want him. Now, but they will not what I'm saying is they will not go to heaven. Yeah, yeah no, I mean too. They will, be destroyed. they will be they'll destroyed. They'll bow before him because the Bible says every knee shall bow. Yes, yes. They'll bow before him but they will not accept him. Right. And and people go, "Well, how can that be if they're in the presence of God?" Look, the angels the angels decided to exit heaven. That was their choice not to follow God. Mm -hmm. They had free will. They got kicked out because they didn't want to be with them anymore. People do this all the time. Right. Do you think that God has not called every person, every single person to him? Do you think that God is, is insufficient in the way he calls people today? Absolutely not. Do you think that God has not shown himself to people that you're praying for? He has. It's their responsibility to say yes to him. And sometimes they just don't. We are very blessed that we have a God that's a hound of heaven that won't give up 
that keeps coming and coming and coming and coming until and we're also blessed because we said yes because when yes, the 70 yes. went out they said hey the demons listen to us and yeah, yeah. he said rejoice that your name's written in the book of life yeah yeah you yeah. know yeah don't rejoice in all that nut stuff Perfect. if we you know if rick ever puts a blm outside it'll be the book of life <laughs> <laughs> it won't be something. i don't know what the m would be matthew or something the book of life man so, man <laughs> it's book of life man, <laughs> man. <laughs> You have a comment, BL comment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Book of life. Man. Man. I'm like, that's very good. That's good. Okay. okay. Two men will be in the field, and one will be taken, and the other left. So this has to be the rapture. Yeah, right? That's what I thought. But people say, say because, I know. Okay. So let's just read the other one, too. Two right. women will be grinding, and then two men will be grinding the mill, one will be taken, the other left. Yeah, taken up, Harpot, so this looks like the rapture. In right. fact, the whole book Left Behind series is based on, on this, this. Yep. but you do find from people I respect that say, no, no, this is judgment, the days right. of Noah, and the flood took people away. Right. And so the one who's left is the Christian, and the right. one who's taken away. Does it really matter? Just be the Christian. And if you're in the field and you're left, you're the Christian. And if you are taken away, you're the Christian. Well, that that's why I'm saying this. There's different interpretations. But and, but and I they, agree with you. This has to be the rapture. And well, I said that. Because but it I, does. Yeah. I mean, to me, I, I was taught this at Calvary Chapel. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, but I've, I have to say I don't know. I have yeah. to say I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Luann I, saw this. It blew her mind. She goes because she started. I said no, Luann. This sometimes because I'd study this before she did. Right. And I said no, no, no. Some people think. And so she started. Blah, 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 and she goes and she came back and oh my gosh. You people know? don't believe that. And, but also she could be wrong because yeah, right, there's, right. like I said, it's like the prosecution, the defense, or you right, said this. Right, right. Very, very, very good arguments that it's not. Yeah. But yeah. it sure looks like it. And and because there are arguments that it's not, but it sure looks like it, don't be dogmatic about it. Right. The, the reality is you better not be like the people who said no to Noah's message. Yeah. That's the point. Yes. You got to get ready. That's yeah, Get the on point. the ark there. Yeah, get on the ark. Let the ark be more than eight people this time. Okay. Do you know the only ones that went on the ark without a without a uh, without any trouble were the animals. The animals just yeah. Like, they how just, did that happen? The two by two, they just, yeah, we're coming cause in because God is because God is God. He's the God of nature. He's the God yeah. of everything, and they obey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew. Yeah, the, the giraffe knew. And, Even and the they, wind and the waves obey, right? Yes, and they know, and and people don't. We're the ones that are. Yeah. So there's a therefore. Yeah, therefore. Therefore, there. it therefore points back to what we just talked about. So because I said this, therefore keep watch. So what's our job? Very simple. Keep watch. Pay attention. Because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this. Now, now look, I want you to see something here. He says, you do not know on what day your Lord will come. That can mean many things, by the way. It can mean when he comes again. It can mean when you pass away from this earth. Because you're going to meet your Lord at that day. Right. So it could mean at least those two things. Yes. So what I want you to understand is you need to be ready. That's the foundation of everything Jesus is telling us. He said, doesn't matter if the world calls you an idiot. Be ready. What? Who can, You know, who can, in fact, instead of being insulted that they call us an idiot, we ought to be we ought to be on our knees praying for them. That's the we, word Christian. Yes. They made fun of them at Antioch. They yeah. called you little Christ, and then they yeah. killed them. So yeah. it was like, yeah, yeah. They, and they took that on and said, oh, we we'll like that. that. We like yeah. that. Yeah, well, let them call us that. Fine, go for it. Okay? It says, you do not know on what day your Lord will come, but understand this, he says. I like that. If the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would have not let his house be broken into. Well, that's true, right? Yep. If the thief advertises in your neighborhood that at between 2 and 3 in the morning, I'm going to be in your neighborhood and I'm going to, well, every stinking household o owner would, would be, be standing in the door with a gun going, you better go to the next house, right? I mean, you would, right? So you also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We just told you that you would know when it was. Look at the fig tree. When the buds come on, you're going to know. Now he said you're not going to know. What's that mean? Okay, you just hit, I'm amazed that you just hit on that. That's, because I'll just say that, and this is where <laughs> this is where I land, is that this conversation is about the rapture and the second coming. 
The rapture we don't know, the second coming we do know. And that puts it in place for me. But I could be wrong about that because, yeah, Jesus looks like he's saying, um, I sure that this generation, well, he's saying, look at the, this. You're gonna, he says you're going to know, but you're not going to know. You're going to know, you're not going to know. How's that, well, what does that well, even mean? This is, this is interesting. It's very simple for me. He says, he's talking about the days of Noah, right? And when people aren't paying attention. And then he says, be careful to pay attention. Yes. And then he says, if you're not paying attention, you're not going to know. You're going to come at a time when yeah. you're not ready. So because you're not paying attention. So he's he's categorizing two different kinds of people. Ones who are who are believing what he's saying and will listen and pay attention and know they'll watch the fig tree. And the other kind of person that lived in the day of Noah, that's how we illustrated them, and those people don't care. They think you're stupid. They don't want to listen. And no matter how much you tell them, they're not going to pay attention. And that's what he's saying. He said, you don't know when he's going to come. Why? Why don't you know? Because you didn't pay attention. <laughs> right? So it's the difference between those who pay attention and those who don't. That's what I think. All right? Because he, he's illustrated that for sure. us mm -hmm. in the days of Noah and with the fig tree. So he's given us those illustrations. Yeah, understand. it's a no and a don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what he's talking about. Right? So who then is the faithful? Well, wait. We're, oh, not, we're oh, out of time. Oh, oh, man. In fact, okay. I took us to 44, exactly. Okay, yes. good, good. We, we, we fulfilled his prophecy. We, 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 <laughs> we got a little farther. We, yeah. But God bless you. You and are Sunday, his favorite. Sunday is, uh, church is open. Sunday, church is open. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I never, don't ever remember my days. Yeah, and so you know what? Maybe Sunday we'll just, we'll just go along. I don't know what we'll do, but we're here. Might as mm -hmm. well just figure it out. All right, God bless you. We love you. You are God's favorite. We're praying for you. If you need something, let us know. And we'll be happy to see if God will let us fall. And Brian fun. will be doing live worship yes, on Sunday. Yes, that'll be fun. That'll be great. So yeah. masks and temperatures, but 10 yeah. o'clock Sunday morning. 10 o'clock Sunday morning. God, God bless church. you. My bags are packed and I'm ready.